Well, hi there. Hey there. Hello there, guys. It is Kimber. Should I say welcome back to myself? <laughs> or welcome back to you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry that it has been so long since I've posted up any kind of videos, any kind of updates, letting you guys know what had been going on. Um, there have been a lot of things that happened that were, you know, not expected. Uh, as you know, I had a hip surgery February 23rd. Um, I've seriously been off of keto since then. I have put on maybe you know, 7 to 10 pounds. It kind of fluctuates. So I'm kind of disgusted with myself at that. Um, but at least I haven't gained back everything that I've ever lost. But uh, my health has not been the best in the world. I do have a seroma. And if you don't know what that is, it's where a pocket of fluid will build up. It happens after surgeries sometimes. And due to my autoimmune disease, it's happened... Um, to cause more fluid buildup than most people would normally have. But since I have the autoimmune disease, that's what my body does. Is it just produces a bunch of fluid and it drains. Uh, so I have two places in the incision that are currently open and that I do bandage every day. Um, I did go and see my surgeon and uh, they're getting me scheduled for my second uh, hip surgery on the right side. So that's going to be toward the end of July, the beginning of August. I'll be having the, the right hip done as well. So what I'm doing along with the hubby is we're going back on strict keto. Um, I want to try to get as healthy as I can before the surgery because the surgery actually took a lot out of me. So I want to make sure that I'm at, you know, a, a good weight. Um, so I don't have any issues there and that I'm healthy. Um, but that's my plan. Uh, one last thing is uh, my kitty Rupert, my boy cat. Uh, I'll put a picture of him up here in just a second. He passed away uh, recently. Um, he had just gotten really, really sick all of a sudden. Uh, started dropping weight. He wasn't eating. He was very lethargic. He couldn't jump. He couldn't do this. So um, it ended up being brain cancer, and he went within a week of being sick. Uh, it was completely unexpected. Um, so that was really, really hard on us. He'd been with us for 15 and a half years, so it was very, very hard on us. Uh, we, we did bury him. We have a beautiful gravestone that uh, my mother-in-law had made for him um, out of some black granite so we could, you know, have that done. So he's a special kitty. We still have our girl kitty and she's still here. She'll still hear her meow and probably heard her a minute ago. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of Rupert and his gravestone. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my first grocery haul while back on keto. I'm going to go ahead and get that going. So I will check in with you guys. Well, for you, it'll be. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is just the, the meats that we bought. I bought two of these, two and a half pound of ground chuck. I got two of those. I bought 18 count of eggs. I also have boneless, skinless chicken breasts. This is a three pound bag. Bought two packages of Johnsonville beer brats. I have some Black Forest ham. I have two bags of the Sugardale pepperoni, and that's what we prefer. And here is the Swaggerty Sausage. It is so good and it has like one carb per uh, patty. Very, very good. And then back there in the back, we got some real bacon pieces. So that's going to be the meats that we're going to be having. Um, I've already got meal meals planned with these. So that is meat. I'm going to go ahead and put up the meat and then I'm going to show you guys the rest. Okay, and now I'm going to go and show you my vegetables. I bought two cans of crushed tomatoes and four carbs on a swan dietary fiber, so three carbs for a fourth of a cup. What I use this for is to make my own spaghetti sauce. It's so easy just to put that in with your seasonings. It's perfect. So I'm going to do that so I can make some pizzas and things like that. I bought some mushrooms. I have two onions in that bag. That is some uh, like fine cut angel hair coleslaw uh, mix. I'm gonna make egg roll in a bowl. Got some broccoli and cauliflower mix, just the steamable bags. I got four tomatoes because I love tomatoes and I'm gonna have salads. So 
So I got two lettuce heads to make my salads with. So that's those. Let's see what else? I think that's all the that's all the veggies I have. But I got some in the freezer still. Okay, so next I want to show you the pantry stuff and the dairy. Um, I know a lot of people say that these are a crutch, but when you're coming back in, um, you need everything you can. So I got some of the carb balance, whole wheat. These are the soft taco shells. These are three carbs. And then I also got burrito ones, which are five carbs. And we're going to use these basically for sandwiches kind of thing. So I have those. We bought some barbecue pork rinds for my husband. I like just the regular ones. He also wanted some Italian dressing. He didn't want anything expensive, so he's got the cheap one, even though it has more carbs. He can he can have more than I can. Bought some heavy whipping cream so I can make his cream chicken. That's actually what we're gonna end up eating tonight. Um, have a bag of Parmesan cheese. I have a bag of mozzarella cheese and a bag of mild cheddar. So that does it for that. Uh, just a little specialty things that you don't really need, but I enjoy is I got some Heinz No Sugar added ketchup and also the my favorite garlic Parmesan wing sauce. This one tastes a lot like the Buffalo Wild Wings, but it's not as hot, uh, which I prefer. So I love that. And there's one gram of carbs in the no sugar ketchup. So that's my grocery haul. Don't mind my dishes here in the back. We were unpacking and I haven't put them up yet. But that's going to be my grocery haul. I'm not sure how long this will last us exactly, but uh, we're in it to win it this time. So um, I'm not sure how often the videos are coming, but they are coming back. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking in with me. As I stopped in and checked in with you. I'm going to go ahead and boil me some eggs right now and pickle them. So I can have some pickled eggs in the refrigerator. And that's it. So I will see y'all later. Take care.